morning everybody, welcome to Marvel Gaming. This is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Diablo Immortal. Before we continue with this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you like this video, please do leave a like, share this to your friends, and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. So, for this one, for this video, we're going to be talking about how I am close and we're nearing one step closer to our goal of achieving the legendary gears legendary set of our summon build so uh, as much of you would know I really love the summon of the uh, necromancer summoning is really one of its pros so um, let's review one this one is the Des desolatoria and I finally got it. I got it yesterday when we were just, you know, doing a Namaris uh, dungeon. So for those of you who don't know, this one turns your golem into a molten golem. Still jumps, but this time instead of stunning or or uh, taunting the enemy, this golem now burns the enemy, does continuous, uh, continuous damage. So this is it. Boo! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh. In my opinion, this one is better and I think this is the best golem out there because um, it has the highest DPS in terms of the AOE effect, the burn effect, and particularly on boss fights, it has the uh, highest DPS. So I really, really am happy that I got this one. The only thing that we want to go for now is the attribute so higher attributes because we can just you know transfer the what do you call this one the essence okay so next for the offhand we already have this since level 10 of battle pass uh, i took this down because uh, as you can see most of my raids or most of my dungeon runs when the skeletal mage attacks it just, just wipes the enemies of the earth so this one is really really awesome i really love this for our um for our leggings or for our torso we have this one uh guided by maggots so this is kind of really good it, it did not sink into me the first time i wanted to try other things but this one has the most dps because it empowers all of your um current summons and in terms of the empowering the frenzy does more damage that you could do because um you don't have to you know set it on an aoe it just goes wherever your uh, summons go and if you have if you have the shoulders that tie up with the guided by maggots it would be more awesome so what the, what am i talking about this one where is that this a uh, linger mantle darker's duration increased by 30 percent so if you're gonna buff your minions by uh with the frenzy imagine six seconds and adding up 30 percent of that that would be like 7.8 seconds almost eight seconds um i think with the power of the the reaper then that would be your biggest biggest aoe damage and together with your golem now uh on the other hand if if you would be asking me of course i would be going for the synod's anointing this one gives you additional skeletal mage that means an additional reaper one reaper causes so much havoc already how much more for two reapers so this one i'd be going for this one um if i'm going to be uh if you're going to make me choose between the two of course i'm going for the synods anointing it's just that you know linger mantle is also good okay it's it's a consolation for me okay for the uh body <laughs> we still don't have one for this one it's supposed to be the bone armor the bone armor buff for the legendary gear of the army uh, the army the <laughs> the armor <laughs> <laughs> this one the parting gift bone armor now grants you all and all nearby party members including your summons five charges of damage immunity imagine 
adding this one for other you know burst damage dealers out there you're gonna get uh invincible for those whenever they give you out all of their skills or the monsters have already casted all of their skills you don't take damage and their skills go to cooldown that's your time to attack so this one is really really the one that i'm looking for although you know we still are not yet that lucky to get it but we're lucky enough to get the uh, desolatoria okay other than that this this is the only one that we would be wanting so um for this one for what we have right now uh, ziroko additional 10 percent damage increase on my reaper that's more than enough for me at least we have something useful that goes kind of goes to what we have right now and to what we're doing in terms of our summon build right now um this is the one that we don't have any use <laughs> and lastly our uh helmet and for our headgear we have this um, crown of the gilded leash skeletal captain so command skeletons become a skeletal captain that's good an aoe whirlwind effect every now and then and uh more tanky but in terms of the desired desired uh headgear or helmet um legendary gear i would want this one wait where is it where is that this one okay mirror rictus your skeletal champions are replaced with skeletal archers because we already have two melee uh two melee summons that is the reaper and the the golem i would want a ranged one uh the skeletal archers and ranged archers are really good because you, you they don't have to rush in and then deal damage they just have to attack that's it all right so aside from that uh in terms of our legendary gems this is the one that we are trying to rank up so rank four gives us a more uh, uh, a longer a longer summon duration additional two percent summon duration that is uh, already uh 10 percent is already good but i i would li love to take additional two percent all right for others we still have to find a uh, you know a more fitting uh, legendary gear for us legendary gem for us and i already have this the shepherd and begetter the only reason that i am not yet you know in, uh, putting this one or using this one is because of the low uh, stat it has so we're going the the thing here with green and set items is that you cannot you cannot transfer their essence so you have to find another shepherd and begetter that has a higher you know stat than what i have right now the reason why this one has a lower stat is because it has only two sockets so once we get a three socketed shepherd and begetter that would be uh our final gear so the reason why i am going for temple of namari is because of this one because i need another another set for that so that i could unlock one where is that this one so, so your summons deal 15 percent more damage and this is a big big leap for my progress because 15 percent damage is really really good and aside from that nothing else okay so just two because we're still at hell difficulty one so the only thing that we could uh, get is the shepherd and begetter this one all right and this one both on hell plus one so we have already obtained the shepherd and begetter from our freebie uh kick and uh we can farm more of it or a higher stat than this one on kikura's rapids and for temple of namari the, the time that i get this one is the time that i would be changing my uh belt into a shepherd and begetter so that i could get more damage on my summons all right i think that's it look at this this is my reaper this is the molten golem oh my goodness all right that's the jump this is the whirlwind i love it i love it i love my current build right now that's it thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel 
please do subscribe. If you haven't liked this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream or a new content. And see you again the next time. Bye-bye!